Good Monday morning, everyone. <laughs> Hello there. How y'all doing? Doing all right myself. I actually got a little bit of sleep yesterday. Not a lot. But some. Um, woke up at a weird time. I woke up at like, normally my alarm goes off at 8. I think I woke up at 5 for some dumb reason. So I managed to sleep, I probably got like a couple hours of sleep and then woke up for no reason whatsoever. So I just went ahead and went to the bathroom and <laughs> took a shower. Went back to bed until it was time to get up. So a little bit more awake today. But anyways, let's get to getting with our girl. Oh, excuse me. We've got... Cold Harbor stuff to do. And for some reason, the. I don't know if it's the. It's the Twitch app? Or what? On my tablet. It's just sitting there with that little loading wheel going. So I'll just close it. Unfortunately. I don't know why it's doing that. I guess I could um, just open Twitch on my computer and just leave it minimized. I don't know why it does. It just started doing that too, to where it just loads or it just, you know, lags out or something. I don't know what its problem is. to get back into OBS just so I could turn on Twitch. Because apparently the app is being stupid. Okay. There I am. <laughs> so. Okay. There I am. <laughs> so. That means I need to get back on Twitch and I need to mute it. There. So I don't hear the, hear my voice coming back at me. That's got a lot of stuff open. Let's get rid of the launcher and go back to the game. All right. Oh, there's somebody's a zombie, a banker. All right, so let's see what the uh, notification for today is. Uh, experience scrolls. <clears throat> okay. I guess we have to go see, see um, talk to seize all colors. A moment, if you please. Nope. And I'm eating. As well, so oh, I only got home with like less than twenty minutes left. Well, where is she then? Ah, that one. Okay, um... Let's 
Stormhold. So Shadowfen. All right. Actually, I could have just gone gone there. Because Shadowfen is. Where's Shadow? Wait. That's Blackwood. That's that's Merkmire. There's Shadowfen. There's Stormhold, and there's Lay Shrine. It's only going to cost me 146 gold. That's nothing. There's one of the dark anchors. I saw strange light oh, coming to the head. Oh. Ooh, there's a uh, there's a sky shard. I don't know what's good for me. Just killed. Uh oh. I'm going downstairs. I don't want to go downstairs. I want to be going upstairs. Probably not. Ooh, intermediate chest. I guess somehow. Alright. I'm just looking to see how if there was another way to get up here other than what I the way I did. It's not really looking like it. Because everything else looks pretty rough. That's rough going down. Yeah. Basically, what I did is the way to do it. So, anyways. Woo. Now, going to the Fighters Guild. Find Seize All Colors. He looked thrilled. Probably just got told he couldn't join. She is. Come on. I don't want to be stealing from the fucking dress art. There we go. I see the messenger found you, comrade. We've discovered much since our adventure in Mizeno. The events of the past continue to stalk us. 
What do you mean? The visions, my friend. The aliens fled from the forces of Molag Bal and hid away the remains of a powerful relic. Merrick has taken the crystal and the tome to an ancient forge. There, he's begun the work of crafting the weapon anew. So we're going to join him? In time, comrade. First, you and I must travel afield to the ruined city of Agaris. It was there the aliens went to stop the Mortoon Vividus. Together, we will understand the threat to the present and the events of the past. I'm ready to go if you are. Comrade. You were the first person I thought of when it came time to explore a musty ruin. That is meant as a compliment. <laughs> Can you remind me? Did we mention the crystal? Of course. You have much to concern yourself with. When last we spoke, we had explored the dwarven ruin of Mizenet. We found an ancient crystal and tome left behind right. by a squad of alien soldiers fleeing undead abominations. That's right. Why did you leave the ruin so quickly? You have my apologies, comrade. When I heard the ancients speaking of the Mortoon Vivicus, I knew the past might contain more clues to solve our present crisis. I wanted to begin my research immediately. Can you tell me any more about the forge you mentioned? We call it the Earth Forge. Merrick found it on a contract a few years ago. The maintenance constructs had long since shut down. The ruin contains the most unique blacksmithing setup. Even the basest of metals sing in its embrace. You mentioned enemies. What did you mean? In Mizenot, we saw visions of ancient soldiers. Survivors of a strategic attack on a city of darkness. Abagarlis is that city. An ancient stronghold of Molag Bal. I expect we will learn much from those old stones. And yes, even though the title says... Cold Harbor, we'll be there, because we're kind of running like about three things, two or three things at the same time, Mage's Guild, Fighter's Guild, and uh, Cold Harbor, because they're kind of intertwined. Well, at least Fighter's Guild and uh, Cold Harbor kind of seem to be intertwined. So, we'll just see. Talk to Fieldmaster. Welcome to the ruins of Abagarlis, comrade. Ancient home to a foul den of necromancers and Molag Baal worshippers. What's the plan? We are here to relive the past. In Mizenelt, we saw a squad of soldiers on the run for their lives. Here, at Abagarlis, that same group was calm and in control. Together, we can see what they saw and discover what they knew about the Mortoon Vivicus. How can we do that? After Mizenelt. I researched a way to take control of the visions we saw. Osterand was the ancient soldier charged with bearing the prismatic weapon into battle. It is through his eyes you will see. And, in turn, I will see through your eyes. What do you hope to learn here, Colors? The ancients stood against the Vivicus and survived. Now, Molag Bal makes ready to unleash the same relic against Tamriel again. It is my hope the courage of the long dead will save the living of today. Then we'd better get started. Hold still just a moment, comrade. It's up to you, Osterand. You bear the prismatic weapon and the hopes of everyone in Delodil. Lenath and Kurano will hold the door from this side. Velasha and I from the other. May the sunburst guide your sword arm, my friend. Sword arm? Do you see a sword? Well, so we're supposed to explore then, huh? Okay. I'm trying to remember to keep it on the pages for a little bit, so that way, if y'all wanted to wanted to see it, you know, read it. Oh, Anything. if you wanted to read it, you'd be able to pause it and uh, read the book. I like 
breathing too, you know. If you ever need an excuse to get me something. I gave you some gear a while back. That's supposed to be colors. Maybe not. Could be. I think it is. Should have joined the boy and homages. You say that a lot. Whoa. Maintaining the final phase of the Mortoon Vividus requires all of my concentration. They're coming for us. now uh. What I find funny is this is a vision, and yet I am looting. I'm not sure how that works. I didn't know you were interested in that genre. I, I remember that. I wasn't. I don't win a fight. It's an awful short book. Okay. <coughs> oh, there's a uh, sky shard. I didn't know there'd be one in here. What? That looks like one to me on the other side of that doofus. Isn't it? Isn't that a sky shard or is he... Oh, that's a prince. I mean, it looks like the light of one, but this isn't a delve that I remember. Well, let's just find out what happens. I'll attack him and we'll go from there. Nope. No sky shard, just him with a bunch of light for some weird reason. You cannot stop the more tomb vividness. Oh no! Master, please! Spare me! That light's a quick study.
That was weird. <clears throat> I really wasn't expecting that. Look at all those pretty tools and stuff just kind of sitting there waiting for someone to use them. Wait for, waiting for somebody to use them on someone. I like how the book, book of Oblivion has that glo the glowing symbol on it. This bookcase. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what's up here. Anything? What was that? The unholy temple. <coughs> oh, that must be the, those little uh, papers. I was gonna say I don't see a book. to now. Okay. Down this little hall. <clears throat> the Journal of Bernamot the Great. Couldn't have been that great. It was only two pages. Oh, it's a lore book. Let's see if I can get Twitch brought up. No, let's clap. Let's close it on here. Give it a few seconds, and then I'll open it back up so you can behave. So far, well, I was going to say, so far, so good, but no, nope, not so much. That was Prince Malian, scion of evil King Anumere. He must have been left behind to defend the Vivids. Well, <clears throat> that was what he was supposed to do. He failed miserably. <clears throat> Which way are we supposed to go? Um, looks like to the left, so we'll go to the right. <clears throat> and, well, you know, see what's there. Loot things. I like reading too, you know. If you ever need a to get me something. <coughs> that was weird. Okay. Oops. Mace etiquette? <coughs> I didn't know there was such a thing. Oh, yeah, there he is. Let's move on. Yep, there he is, Molly Ball. Look at that mace of his. Oh yeah, he's he's holding somebody in his hand. <clears throat> so when his avatar 
is on the planet, on the planet's surface, if a average person was going to fight him physically and Molag Ball reached down and picked him up, that's what it would look like. So basically, it probably would be the, probably would be right around the, what it would be like if a, if an adult picked up a Barbie doll and just held it by the, the torso. Probably about like that. <clears throat> Maybe a little shorter. But for the most part, that's what it's going to be like. One hand and shield increased to four. Actually, I shouldn't be using my uh, GDP. Because <sighs> I have a decent amount of this left. I need one of my other ones that's almost empty so I can finish it off well I won't finish it off I don't think not today <clears throat> all right a book for travel is well worth the pack space shame they're so heavy you say that a lot wow Wow, right out of the ground. I wasn't expecting that, that's for sure. And he fainted. And I know that wasn't a faint. <clears throat> the... Okay, whatever. Well, it's free. Well, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna have to. Actually, if I let's try doing it this way. Give me a second. I bring up Facebook <clears throat> on the tablet. Oh, come on! You can you can do it that way. Time for that mess. Right. Uh. Let's leave it. <clears throat> if it doesn't want to uh, behave itself, fine. All right, where was I? Right. Okay, so we're what? Headed. This. Ooh, that must be. I know, it looks like. I know what it looks like, but I know now that it's not what it looks like. It's not a light. That huh? must be the Mortum Vivicus. Well, I am going to be snooping, getting stuff, so you're just gonna have to hang out with me. Haha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what was that? Drink. Okay. It's like, yep, you are a kind of basically kinda of like a captive prisoner. You're just going to have to accept that. Okay. And over here. A lot of copies of the, the Book of Oblivion. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. We kind of are in oblivion, but still. Okay. <clears throat> Give her a little surprise. Me 
is nothing. The master will still destroy. Wait! What? No, my lord. I served you faithfully. Doesn't matter. Does not matter if you serve Molag Ball faithfully. You screw up, you piss him off, you're in trouble. Hmm. Just, I don't think anybody probably pissed off, pissed him off more than uh, Metamarco. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much are saying out loud that you plan on getting a specific, you know, weapon or a specific item and you're going to use it <clears throat> to attack and defeat the Daedric Prince that you're supposed to be a servant of and worship and you are planning on attacking him, imprisoning him, stealing his power, and basically claiming his realm for your own. Not smart to say out loud, to say something like that out loud when, you know, there's a good chance he's going to hear you. I'm not destroying nothing yet until I check out the room. Shelf. Heavy armor forging. What's left? Anything left? Uh... I was wondering if there's anything uh, left to loot. They look like there might be a little bit here. Right, so I'm back up where I came, so I just need to go and destroy the Mortum Vivicus. Whoa, you accomplished nothing. I removed the Vivicus to Cold Harbor. This doom will come again to Cambriel. Over here. Oh. So go for where? <clears throat> this is terrible, my friend. Osterand was on the verge of destroying the Vivicus and nothing. What do you mean? The rapids have grown swift, and we did not even notice. Let me explain. Do you remember the notes you took from Dosha's lair? The ones that spoke of the Vivicus? No, I didn't read them. <laughs> oh, yes, why? I had assumed that this relic she spoke of was a legend. Even when I heard the words of Osteron, Indera, and their companions, I thought this was a threat from a time long forgotten. But, comrade, we just saw it. The Vivicus was never destroyed. What does that mean? You saved Merrick from a worm-called plot to harvest souls, remember? 
Those souls are fuel for the Vivicus. The intact Mortuum Vivicus that Molag Bal has kept hidden all this time. Safely tucked away in Cold Harbor. <clears throat> what do we do? We must go to the floor. <clears throat> Help Merrick at Aswalo restore the prismatic weapon to its full potential. I will do what I can to find where he has hidden the Vivicus. Comrade, I put my faith in you. You must tell the others. Warn them. Can I count on you? You can count on me, Guildmaster. I would entrust this task to no one else, comrade. You go with the weight of the guild on your shoulders. Lucky, lucky me. The Orb of Light was the Mortum Vivicus? Just so, my friend. I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released. If it is released. The world as we know it, yeah. Whose memories did I re uh, relive? You saw through the eyes of Osteron, one of the valiant ancients that fought and died in the Zenalt to safeguard our future. According to what we saw, it was he who slew Queen Kalola and stopped the use of the Mortune Vividus. Okay, oh, what was that orb of light? Just so, my friend. I think that was it? I believe it to be some kind of relic. A massive spell capable of holding and harnessing the souls of thousands upon thousands of dead. If it had been released, if it is released, the world as we know it will end. It'll end. Be all over but the crying. <clears throat> well, I'm going to have to open Facebook Live on my phone again. And let's see if Twitch will behave. I'm not going to hold out much hope. Okay, maybe. Nah, I'm not. I'm not holding out hope that <clears throat> the Twitch app is going to work properly, because right now it's not. It's frozen. The Earth Forge. Oh goody. The Earth Forge. Talk to Merrick. How was your research trip with the Guildmaster, comrade? Eventful, Merrick. I have much to tell you. Truly. What happened? Were the ruins infested with undead? Stendar's wrath would have served you in good stead. Colors and I saw into the past. We saw one of the Aelids try to destroy the Mortum Vivicus. Comrade, did you say try? The Vivicus is not some long-destroyed legend. Molag Ball withdrew the Vivicus to Cold Harbor before it could be destroyed. Then, when Dosha took me prisoner, she was to harvest my soul for this abomination? By all the eight! We should be moving. Aleph will await us here. Keep watch for any unfriendly faces. Come, follow me, and try to keep up. I try to keep up. I'm not even running, and I'm about to s s just steam him over. I helped to find this place years ago, Stendar's will. Comrade, this news is disquieting. Yeah. I, oh, look at that. He stopped, and I ran into him. He told me to try to keep up. I'm glad you're here with us. I've made preparations to work the prismatic crystal, to reforge the weapon from the time of the ancients. Truth, I thought this weapon would just be a powerful symbol. It seems we have great need of this important relic. Yeah, he's gonna make a, he's gonna make a weapon, and then uh, we get to choose what kind of weapon it becomes. <clears throat> there it is. Welcome to the Earth Force. Quite a sight, is it not? Oh. 
Comrade, we must restore this weapon of old. Make ready for any new plots by the Prince of Lies. I feel the strength of Stendar flowing through my arms. Are you prepared? I'm ready. What do we do? I shall work the Ander. Form the core. You will keep the fire at the proper temperature. Many and many times must the fire be stoked to keep an even flame and flow. How do I maintain the fire? Use the <clears throat> bellows here to stoke the flame just a bit. Use the valve to my other side to stoke it yet more. And for a truly fearsome blaze, pour fire salt on the coals. Uh, what if I get the fire too hot? The lever just next to the valve releases pressure from the forge. But do not worry. I'm certain you'll do fine. Are you ready to begin? So the weapon will be done today? I wish it was so, but no. You and I are merely forming the core. Whatever weapon we decide to make, the runes and hilt and all of that must wait for another day. I'm ready. This equipment is very old and very delicate. Stend our willing. We must try to get it right the first time. Here are the fire salts. Let's begin. Build me a small fire first. And I small shall fire? You you are close. Bellows. Let the fire loose now. Give it all you can. Give it all you can. So that Give would be... More, but not too much. Wait. We are not quite there yet. Poles? He said give it all you can. It is too hot, comrade. Cool it down with the lever. Release the pressure. I don't know where the lever... Where is the lever? I don't... S I don't see the lever. He said it was next next to the. He said it was next to the. Uh, oh, there it is. Hmm. I was looking right close. Comrade, you're doing fine. If you keep working that lever, we can still control this blaze. Ha! Feel that heat? Just a moment, and I'll prepare the core. So all we were doing this time was just getting the forge at the right temperature. Now I need a larger fire, comrade. Double the heat of the last one. So stoke a medium-sized fire. Right? I think that's it. Put the spurs yeah. to it. Give it all you've got. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite there yet. Just watch out for the little white arrow. The fire is very close. That's the fire I'm looking for. Stand back. I shall prepare the core. We need an even hotter fire. The largest yet. Twice the size of the last one. Not quite there yet, comrade. We've got a ways to go. Don't be shy now. This fire's barely smoldering. More, more! So we're, right so we're hitting it with everything. Much more. Give us some more, but not too much. We are not quite Stendar's wrath. That fire is hot. Just a moment, comrade. I'll prepare the core. And what's funny is he's holding it in his hand, and he's just holding it over the coals. <laughs> We've done it. Very well done. Excellent work, oh my comrade. Together there is nothing we cannot do. Is it done? Have we forged the core? We are well on our way, I can feel it. We'll have to tinker with it to see what... Stendar's grace, what's that noise? 
Behind you! Fools! Do you truly think you could hide that trinket from the god of schemes? The people of Abagala serve me even in death. My devoted, kill them. Kill them and bring me the crystal. Blasphemy must not be allowed to be reforged. Bring that crystal to Cold Harbor. For the Lord of Wit. That was the queen we killed er, um, a little bit earlier. My followers serve me even in death. They fail you even in death. Let's talk to Merrick now. Stendar shield us. The earth boards overrun with undead. Merrick, he knows we have the crystal. That was Molog Ball himself. Did you hear his voice? Made my blood run cold. That such an evil thing could be right here, in our midst. Merrick, how do you think they found us? I do not know. Perhaps he somehow can track the core itself. If the Prince of Lies is planning to use the Vivicus once again, the prismatic weapon is a threat to his plots. Uh, is the core finished? No, not just yet. We came so close. Don't worry. I can complete the final steps on my own. This weapon will yet see the light of day, Mark Mothers. The Mortum Vivicus will yet be destroyed. Does this mean the forge is in danger? You have the right of it. I'll speak with the Provost General and post some guards. The undead can come boiling up out of the mountain at any time. There's no telling what might happen here. Let's get out of here. Yes, we should be going. We must find Seize All Colors and inform her what has happened here. Lead on, I'm really, no, uh, no. I was gonna say I'm really curious if there's anything uh, in that tunnel, but it doesn't look like it. See, going by the map, it just looks like it just leads to lava. I really want to look. I, I, I'm sure I did the last time too. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Well, there is nothing here. All right, but now we know because you wanted to know too. So. Now we'll head out. I wonder why he didn't join us. Let's see what's over here. What is this? Oh, just a... It's supposed to be, looks like, um, maybe a clothing station. At one, at one, at one time, this looked like, um, one of those places where you can, uh, work on armor. Ah! Talk to Merrick, where the hell is he? I don't even know where he is. Oh, there's a little arrow, but... Uh, this has to be the woodworking sta old woodworking station. And of course, the earth forge would have to be the uh, blacksmith. You know, the smith. The smithy. The smithy. Whoa, what was that? Oh, nothing. It was nothing. I don't know why is the app doing this. I don't get it. Let's close it. 
close their hand. Alright. Uh, let's pop over on Twitch real fast. See what's. Where is. Oh, it's right there. See how things are going over here. Anything? Apparently, I had. What is that? Is that telling me I had two people watching and I didn't even know it? That would be disappointing. If I've missed people. I have 16 followers. All right, well, back to it. Whoever I missed, I'm sorry. I normally don't miss them, but the app, the Twitch app on my tablet is not working properly. And so I have the, the I have Twitch open on my monitor Actually, it's my television, you know, but whatever, on my computer. But it's covered by the game, so. There he is. This is unbelievable. Stendar's horn. We all thought the Guildmaster died in his sleep. Let's report in to seize all colors. I'm sorry, comrade. I knew Yafnir a long time. You're right. We need to report in. So much has happened. Where, where did that come from? I think I'll let Aelith lead the way this time. Come. That just came out of left field. I was ye yelling about the old guildmaster. We weren't talking about it or anything. He just, I don't know. And he's back in all his armor. Look at him. The Earthforge breached. Yafnir murdered. Stendar, give us strength. All right, we'll talk to Colors. Come on. Were you successful? Have you forged the weapon? We have more need of it now than ever, my friend. As you well saw. We began to forge the weapon, but much has happened. What has happened, comrade? I do not like the look on your face, or the scowl Merith bears. The Earthforge was attacked by the dead of Abagarlus. Molag Bal taunted us during the assault. The god of schemes himself has taken notice of our quest. We're all in murky water now, comrade, and the current grows swift. <laughs> I just love how, you know, how the Argonians talk. Well, actually, wood, wood elves do it a lot, too, especially Evely. But all the different things that they say, and I just love how we can... I mean, it makes perfect sense. You know, it's not like, what do you mean by that? You know, you know, it makes perfect sense. We understand it very well. Uh, there's more. After the attack, Yafnir appeared to us and told us he'd um, he'd been murdered. What? what? Huh? When did that happen? It must have happened when we were crossing the lava, because I didn't see it. Oops. Were you successful? Have Do it again. What okay. Happened, what? There we go. Yafnir murdered. This is dire news, comrade. The council must be told straight away. There will have to be an investigation. Thank you for standing beside us. On this of all dark days. Not a problem. What now, Guildmaster? Merrick, Aelith, and I will confer with the Council of Provost Generals. We'll want to talk about the attack and this revelation about Guildmaster Iceblade. We'll contact you again when there's more to discuss. Until then, comrade. Okay. I'll just wait right here for the moment. I'll need to look. See if we got anything interesting. These are things that I picked up earlier. Hidden treasure bag. Where did that come from? Hmm. 
All right, then. Where's rank eight? Six. Let's see. Oh, that's, yeah, that was one of those. I had, to, I had to be a higher level in order to be able to do that. Ring did we get? Oh, that's right. Forge Master's ban. It's another, another stamina thing. I don't want stam. I don't want stamina. I don't want stamina. All right. So now let's see what we got quest wise. Uh, journal quests. Um, let's see. Oh, that's of knives and shadows. Okay, I was trying to remember, what was that? And yeah, I, I remember that one now. I remember it. Um, let's see. Well, I've got a couple of things that I've that I've completed. Oh, there's Cold Harbor. So we need to get back there. See, now we're going back to Cold Harbor. I thought we were going to get led there, but apparently not. Well, I think we probably would have eventually. <sighs> now, there's a chance my... A dentist's office may call, because I think I have a dentist. I have an appointment uh, tomorrow with the uh, dental hygienist, so the phone may ring. If not, then I'm going to call them to double check. Uh, after, after the stream. This thing is, I need to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to even go. Um. I think I couldn't, I can't go north. I, have, I think I have to go east. I think that's the way I have to go, if I'm not mistaken. Do I have a marker anywhere? I, I, I do not. Okay. I don't want south, I want east. What 
in the world? She got hung up. Yeah, the chasm. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna let us go through the chasm. Uh, yeah, I think I have to go up over here. But I'll, I mean, I'm gonna try. What are these? Oh, crafting rents. Oh, I'm sure you can. I don't think it's going to let us out. Nope. Because I thought that had to be done last. That's a way out because there's a break in the wall. But let's see where this. Ah, uh, it's crooked. There's no way that door's gonna open. Really? Oh, this is the Fighters Guild and training grounds. That's weird. I'm gonna open it. Oh, you cannot use that door right now. Oh, you bastards. Gave me false hope. This place is full of interesting history. I should try looking it up later. If you wanna. I will not stop you. Uh, a portal? I don't remember that. Portal to Cold Harbor Surreal Estate. Oh, okay. Cold, that's for the house. So, I just had to go around it? To... I don't even know where I'm going. To be honest with you. I'm trying to figure this out as we go. Okay. Maybe I have to... I have to go through that, that way, so... Definitely missing something then. Wonder what though. I still have to rescue two people. All right, let's see. What does that say? I don't know, but let's go that way. Is that uh, Dragon Thorn? Freeze. I honestly don't remember what I'm supposed to do. And there are no markers. So... I think I will... Take the next right. Wait, what now? This one and his beloved mate sought shelter, but there was none to be found. Her Navi, she didn't make it. Now I lack the will to go on. Our children will grow up without parents. They will be poor and destitute, and probably die young and alone. How did you end up here? This one and his mate. We lost our way one night. 
We follow their light in the forest, wound up in this depressing place. We took shelter in a cave to the northeast, but that didn't work out so well. Especially not for poor Nabi. What happened in the cave? We were attacked by Milokilo and his monsters as soon as we set foot in the cave. This one and poor Nabi fought our way out and eventually escaped into the wastes. How did Ernabi die? This one's beloved Ernabi was wounded in the escape. She died before we could reach safety and find a healer. This one's claws will never be sharp again. Okay, well, something... I heard this sound like something... Oh, it updated the map. Okay, if it updated a map, I don't know what it updated. Hmm. I don't know, but we're going to go this way. Ancestor silk. Remember ancestor silk. Remember spider silk. All right. Well, that's the way we're headed. So, we're supposed to follow the light, I guess. Why not? Yeah, I'm sure it's a trap. And seek in a moment. So someone has come to help us at last. Are you talking to yourself? We're out here in the middle of Cold Harbor, and that's the best question you can come up with. I am most definitely not talking to myself. I am speaking to the alchemist. Be quiet, you mangy cat. I can't hear myself think with all that racket. I don't see anyone else here. Patience, sir. I'll explain everything. I am with the Mages Guild. We stepped through the portal and wound up in this vile laboratory. Daedra experimented on us. They merged our two souls. Now we're wasting away as this soul meld killed us. Maybe I can help. There's Zer. Ah, to see out of Kajita eyes again. Oh, it's being caged in that dark place. You must be the alchemist. Yes, this one is pretty famous. Perhaps you have heard of Zer. But Zer must tell you, this soul meld is killing us. Will you help us? Will you unmeld our souls? What do you need me to do? Unmeld this soul to a world. Pardon, the Dwarven device that caused this is inside the laboratory. But rubble blocks the way. Collect Zer's notes and a bottle of pearl tincture. With those, this one can make a potion that will get you past the rubble. I'll find your notes in the tincture, but I have a few questions. Questions are good. Ask and ask again. 
That is the systematic method of experimentation. Remember that you must know the rules before you can successfully break them. <laughs> uh, were you part of the expedition to Cold Harbor? Oh, yes. We came to defeat the evil Moloch Val. Or was it uh, many Marco? That forgets. So many bad things start with the letter M. But something went wrong and got us, and this one ended up here. That's when the Daedra melted our souls. Can't you just teleport me inside? Unfortunately, no. The soul melt weakens us, and we must conserve our strength. With the recipe and the ingredients, this one can make a transmutation potion and exert almost no energy whatsoever. A much better approach at this time, yes? Okay, can I speak with Gadris again? I don't know why, but... I don't know why, but yeah. You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. How did your notes and supplies get scattered? I know you said you were sorry, but the question has been asked. One of us is disorganized and enjoys experimenting with dwarfen machinery. The resulting explosion reduced the entryway to a pile of rubble and sent our supplies in all directions. Will you be all right here? Safe enough. We'll make our way to the entryway. We can manage a simple illusion to mask our presence. I wish we weren't so weak, however. I never realized. Never realized what? I never realized how my ability to perform magic defined me. Now that I cannot do the things that once came so easily to me, I almost don't know who I am. Having a talking cat inside my head doesn't help much either. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> what happened to the other mages? A few of us arrived together, but only the alchemist and I survived the experiments. Zer's explosion had one desirable side effect. It destroyed our Dremora captors. We have information vital to the Mages Guild. Should we escape this predicament? Okay. That says option set. Talk to Zer. I already did. Okay, so let's see. Gather notes and okay, gather notes. Gather tincture. I don't know what that is way down there. Oh, a battle. People's fighting. Transmutation of living creatures. Oh, bookshelf. I like reading too, you know, if you ever need an excuse to get me something. Okay. Is that the last of them? Oh, thank Beck. Well, I was going to say, you're not very observant, but then I didn't realize that those guys taking those out. So we'll just take these guys out. I hate that thing. It really slows you down. And of course, you take damage. 
Fermentation Potion Recipe. Hmm. I'm starting to get sleepy now. Ah, oh, there's a dentist. Hello? Lisa at Dr. Grunberg's office. Hello. I've got, I've got you down for your appointment tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Okie dokie. Thanks a lot. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right, um, real quick, um, message my friend that was gonna that was gonna take me to my appointment. He, she needed to know what time it was going to be. Uh, that seems going crazy. Stop. What the heck's going on now? Oh, it was just. Just boost telling me that my phone payment's coming up. It's like, I know. Hopefully we don't get attacked while I'm trying to... Where is... There we go. Um, let's see. Oops. Uh-oh. Uh, she can protect us for a bit. What am I looking for? Facebook. There we go. Alright. That was weird. Okay. Zombie! Big family, you have to know how to scrap. Goodness. Oh, come on. Psst, over here. <laughs> this one used an illusion spare. Very little effort. I'll talk to Zer. It is good to be out and about. Cold ah, Haba is an inhospitable place, but this one is adaptable. What are you doing here? Zer thought this was where he left the tincture, so I came to investigate. Don't tell Godress that Zer was here. A simple illusion spell protected me, but Godress gets worried. Me? I like to explore. It must be strange sharing your body with someone else. This one has always enjoyed trying new and different things. But this situation, it is very strange, very awkward. Is that thought me, sir? Or me, Godress? This one can never be certain where his thoughts in. And Godress's begin. Very confusing, yes? <laughs> to say the least. 
find the entrance below? So we're not going up. What is up here? Ah! Uh, up here is a quick way down. Where these uh, must be respawn. Give items to the soul me the soul meld mage. Well, I oh a thief's choke. Turn your head. Just just lock picks. Screw that. I don't want lock picks. Well, I'm not gonna steal lock picks. Let's just put it that way. It's not worth it. Okay. Anything back over in the corner? No. What's that? Oh, it's probably Stinkhorn. Yep, and that can't tell. It kind of looks like pewter. No, it's platinum. Noise. All right. The vile laboratory. Ooh. Told you our friend would find the scatters. You worry too much. Okay, hold on a second. I want to go over to Twitch. I want to see if there's anybody out there. It looks like I wish I knew it. if that means that the, I have one viewer. And if I do, <laughs> thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it means a lot okay and yeah i'm at 16 followers so i'm getting there very slowly i need another 34 in order to be able to become uh affiliate so i've got a ways to go all right let's talk to zur godress is upset because we we'll had to hide behind some rocks. Zer says the dream to be by a deformed creature is even more dignified. I have the things you asked for. Quiet, Gatris. This one knows what he's doing. This is most fragrant work, my friend. Most fragrant. Zer shall dread the potion immediately. It should make you slightly smaller. Certainly small enough to squeeze through the rubble. How long will I remain small? Long enough to slip into the laboratory. A few minutes, uh, give or take. Now, let the think. Is it the six or seven drops of tincture? I hope you know what you're doing. The thinks he saw some dried skate crow over here. Ah, yes, here it is. Zer's finest potion yet. You will drink it now, yes? Ooh. Yes. Those that is such a fair cutting are. price. I'm not selling that. You insane? That, I believe that was a, a motif. Let's see. Oh. 
Well, that's a recipe for a Morrowind Twister. Sorry, Mornhold Twister. Honey and Bittergreen. That's it? Yeah. Uh, Dwemer Axes. That's what it was. And I need a rank of nine on any of the skills in order to do that. So while I'm thinking about it, let's go there and see, am I close? I think it means, let's see, because that says six, look at, look at that, 24, blah, blah, blah. So I'm wondering if it means in the passives, it's all I can think of. Uh, I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Let's go and talk to Gadris. Here is the potion. I hope Zer didn't cut any corners. But no, it, it probably tastes terrible. So this is the potion that will make me small? Yes, Zer. I'll be sure to mention it. I am not a mixer of potions. And I don't want to debate the merits of alchemy with Zer again. But the cat knows what he's doing. Inside, look for my notebook. It lists what you need to craft the antipodal rods. The antipodal what? Rods that will reverse the soul value. Just find the components and craft the rods. We will try to recuperate and regain enough strength to teleport ourselves inside. If you have questions, please ask them before you drink the potion. Okay, uh, tell me what I need to do once I get inside. Find the metallurgy workshop. My notebook should be there, placed neatly on the workbench. It contains a list of what you need to create the antipodal rods. Gather the items and craft the rods. Main reason why I went to back back to this again was because I. <laughs> it's funny because you know when he first says the antipodal rods, we're like the antipodal what? And I'm thinking, out of those two, it's the word antipodal that you didn't have a problem with. And then I forgot what the word antipodal was, and it started with an A, so I was going to go back because I figured that it, instead of saying the antipodal what, you would have been like the, the what rods? <laughs> so that's why I went back, because I, I wanted to see what it was called again, because I wanted to make that comment about, you know, I... Wouldn't have said the antipodal what? I would have been the what rods? Or the, <laughs> excuse me, baking powder? All right, let's see. Um, You want me to forge something? It shouldn't be a problem. The laboratory has a forge. Just follow the directions and apply the proper catalyst. The rods should be able to withstand the reversal process. After you forge the rods, Meet me by the overseer's atelier. Okay. What's an atelier? If you look at the word close, it says eight Lear. Uh, so somebody named Lear has been aided. And um, I don't know. I don't know what an atelier is. <laughs> It sounds French, but I think it's probably um, Elven. Anyways, um, I'll drink the potion now. The potion will work, you'll see. And know that I am grateful for your help. We both are. Oh, nice. I forgot about that. Change of plans? No, I wasn't trying to talk to you. I wanted to see what happened. Okay, she jumped. Yeah. We got turned into a monkey. Rubble block door. Use. How the hell did she get through? I'm calling BS. Uh. I don't remember having this much trouble. Before. Come on, just get on the damn pipe. 
Stay on the pipe. Woohoo! Roasted monkey. La 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 la. La. Oh, come on. Okay, um. Oh, I gotta go up there. Let's see if we can see the monkey again. Not very well. Miri's in the way. Ah! Oh, it's the kitty cat. Oh. Rubble blocked passage. Heck. Now, fa now Facebook kicks me out. What the hell? I'm just having all kinds of problems here. All right, quick uh, Twitch check. Shows me stream, but I don't see. Okay, oh, that's where the. Uh, that must be the um, the chat area right there. I guess. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Oops. Got to get to the right page again. Oops. What the heck? Ah, that one. There we go. All right. So. It's a round room. Okay, the notebook of Mage Gadris. Wait till all that disappears. Okay. Right, so go back the way we came because there's something there that we need, so. No, you're still here. Oh, for a second there, I thought that said the four of ambitions. It's like, no, four abominations. A little bit different. Drink, drink, drink. Alchemy bottle, alchemy bottle. Refined void salts. Okay, so next is that's a little gamey. Um, go ahead and take this one out. Okay. Thing of interest. No, not yet, anyways. Ebony ore. Really, I've got a whole shit ton of ebony ore on me. I didn't need that one.
bottle. Give me a bottle. Whoops. Drink. Drink. Okay. What was that? Alchemy bottle. Drink. Crystalline Essence Matrix. Read Catalyst Note. Whoa. Well, I haven't seen one of them big boys in a while. Dwarven Centurion. Back, I hope you're watching. Read the catalyst note. Godress's teleport spell worked. This one is here. Be careful, friend. The dwarven constructs have awakened. I know. Catalyst notes. Gather corrupted blood. Sir. The he's standing in the green goo. No amount of licking gets it out of one's fur. You made it inside. Godress worries so much. He wanted to make sure you found the catalyst. The catalyst makes the rod strong enough to withstand both magicka and machinery. Two things this one likes very much. The catalyst? The basic ingredients can be melted. But without a catalyst to imbue them with strength and add a lintel. Alchemy is not boring, Godris. Ah, very well. Godris wrote about a proper catalyst for the antipodal rods. He wants you to read his notes. How are you and Godris able to work in here? After the soul mail, the overseer ignored us. The dwarven constructs were inactive, so we were able to work here in relative peace. Yes, Godris. Everything was fine until Zer exploded something. The Dark Elf sure knows how to hold a grudge. <laughs> what did you explode? Many things. The last one was pretty spectacular. It was an accident, of course. Godris was so mad because we were forced outside. But he proved his first suggestion for a catalyst didn't work. So, the experiment was successful. <laughs> All right, gather corrupted blood, so... Alrighty. Experiment chamber. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Ooh, what was that? Something big. Oh, um, golem. Oh, it's a boss. I don't want to hurt you, but now I'm going to. Not a very strong one, but he's named. So that makes him a little bit stronger than normal. Uh, 
Corrupted Blood. All right. Over here, the constructs have moved away from the forge. All this skulking around, using up valuable energy on apprentice level illusions. I grow ever more weary. Even Zer's enthusiasm is ebbing. I've got the corrupted blood. I'm afraid to hope too much. But you've made such progress. Perhaps we shall end this torment after all. The constructs have moved off. The forge area is clear, at least for the moment. <laughs> what do I need to do um, at the forge? Melt the components in the furnace, then craft two rods from the mixture. There is an anvil near the furnace. Be careful, though. The mixture can be volatile. The machine that merged us is further on. In the overseer's atelier. We'll meet there. All right, play with the forge. It looks like she's just going. <laughs> Which she probably is. All right, weapon in. Right, meet the soul meld mage. Whoa. Oh, it's just a construct. He's facing the direction. I'm like, that's a weird shape. What the heck is that? Thud up. Okay. Back to the, the back to the vile laboratory, right? Where'd he go? Oh, yep, I'm going the right right way. Whoa. This one's going to be more fun. Uh 
Uh oh, I think I have one behind me. Crap, I do! There. <laughs> um. Okay, I didn't see that. So we have to go around. Right? Zeese the way. Right. Teleportation was never this difficult before. The spell took so much out of me, I was afraid we would never materialize. But Zer has the key to this room. He acquired it shortly after we'd got here. Were you able to craft the antipodal rods? I followed your directions. What will the rods do? We are so close. We need to use the rods to activate the dwarven device. That performed the soul meld. Oh, and the crystal. I'm getting as careless as Zer. Uh, look for a glowing crystal. The overseer placed it in the machine to power the device. Place the crystal and insert the rods. Got it. This will separate the two of you? Ah, uh, well, in a manner of speaking. Understand that Zer and I do not have two separate bodies to return to. But if this works, the soul meld won't kill the both of us. So what happens to you? The magic will But only one of us will survive. Do not be dismayed. We rejoice at a chance for one of us to survive. Go on ahead. We will meet you outside momentarily. Can I ask a few questions? Stop shouting, sir. What? Oh, yes, of course. No. All right. Zer reminds me that you have been most helpful and you need to rest in a way. So I decided not to cut you off from a snide report. Please accept my apologies and ask me questions. Why does having the two souls weaken you so badly? Based on our own experience, it appears that merging two souls into one vessel causes an internal storm as the souls buy for control. It takes all of our mental fortitude to maintain our individual personalities. Uh, what if we can't reverse the soul meld? Then nature takes its course. But at least we will have tried to beat this. At least one of us has a chance to survive. And know that however this ends, I am grateful for the aid you have provided. Which one of you will survive the process? If the device works the way I expect, then the person operating it will decide which of our souls <coughs> survive the reversal process, and which is discarded. I guess it will be up to you to choose who lives and who dies. How do I choose which one of you to save? Well, I could make a strong case as to why I should be the one to survive. My qualifications, my experience, my work for the Mages Guild, but the truth is, I have grown fond of Zer. My right to survive is no greater than his. I cannot advise you. I'll meet you inside. Ah, oh, there's Zer, so let's talk to Zer now. The Overseer's in there. He put us into this dwarven machine. He is 
dangerous. I'm sorry it's come to this. Do not worry. This one is not afraid. Process can be reversed. Our research tells us this. There is optimistic. And if I die, then it is just on to another adventure, yes? If it comes down to my decision, which one of you should I choose? We are very different. Zara has learned much shading a dark elf's mind. Few can sheet experience such a wonder, yes? Godress would do many great things, provided the unmelting works. And so will Zara. But this one would never choose himself over another. Will the reversal work? Some theoretical extrapolations are what Godress excels at. And this one's experiment supports his research. We believe the device can be forced to unmeld our souls. In any event, we won't survive the soul now. At the very least, we must try. Oh, we got someone popping into Facebook. Sherry Pierce Club is watching. Hello, Sherry. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. Anything I need to know about the next room? What's that? Yes, there will test it a more. No, quiet, please. The overseer's in there. He put us into this dwarven machine. He's dangerous. Many of the constructs that roam this place are under his control. Landris <sighs> recommends killing him quickly. All right. Sherry, I hope you are doing well today. And I hope you enjoy your time here with me. It's getting late, but I want to at least get this part done. Um, let's see where. Oh, so he's that way. So how big is this place? Ah, it's not that bad. Well, that's the over. Oh, the, the overseers over there. So let's take take out some of these uh, constructs first. That's one. And a spider. Dead spider. Wait. Is someone else fighting him? Shit. Well, I didn't want to go fight. I was going to wait till the end to fight him, but, you know, people came in and... I mean, it's not like I could... Um, I couldn't have just waited for his respawn. I could have. Right. Don't, cry for mommy. Don't cry for mommy. Um, they're dwarven spiders. For one thing, they don't have a mommy. And dwarven spiders don't, can't cry, or complain, or anything like that. Find Dandry Dawn? Find Dandril Dawn, I guess. Okay, look. Find the Dwarven device. I don't know how the heck we got out of. I wasn't oh. sure the illusion would last long enough to make it across the chamber, but it did. There's the end of Brutus. This one must admit that he will miss our time together. Let's see if I can't get get the uh there. All right. Um 
talk to Zer. This one can't believe you crossed this chamber without so much as an illusion to mask your presence. You are so brave. This one, Zer's whiskers were twitching inside the dark elf's head. <laughs> what do I do next? Next comes the exciting part. You test our theory. See those two pillars? One represents Zer, the other Godress. Insert the antipodal rods and turn on the device. If it works, you should be able to separate our melted souls. But I can only restore one of you. Yes. As we have explained, one body, one soul. At least one of us will survive to help the mages guild. This one knows you will make the right decision. Place the crystal into the machine. Then insert an antipodal rod into each pillar to start the unmelding process. Okay. Place that. <clears throat> Place the rod in that pillar. And place the rod in that pillar. Of us must be saved. Oh man, I was. I know who I saved when I first played it. I'm gonna make the decision. Uh, I'm gonna choose the other one, just because I don't have a bunch of people here to, you know, chime in. So I'm going to save. Zer. Come on, girl, get out of the way. All right, now we talk to Zer. How strange this feels. To be simply Zer again is lonely. Are you all right? Zer is fine. At least, Zer thinks it is true. This one feels strangely empty. This one is Zer again. But thanks to my time with Godris, this one is also different. What will you do now? I want very much to leave this place. Miller bad memories. The door is nearby. It will open from this side. Meet us, uh, me, outside. My abilities grow stronger already. This one can create a portal to somewhere safe once we are outside. <laughs> he tried so hard to make to talk singular um, because the you know the mage is no longer with him but Khajiit always talk in the third person so he goes meet us uh, me outside my abilities grow stronger already then he's already reverted back to standard uh, Khajiit uh, vernacular he's back to this one so he's already calling himself this one. Uh, can create a portal somewhere safe once we are outside. So he could be talking about me and him or all three. It's or just be or just the way that the Khajiiti people talk. I don't know. I'll meet you outside. Take oh, I can take the crystal back. Okay. Oh, because it's a light of Meridia. Alright. Anybody want to pick a fight before we go? Ooh. I, really don't like I was dogs. kidding! <laughs> Not really, but... Man, I didn't know there were three dwarven spiders. Complaining? I think she's complaining. All right. 
Cold Harbor. Holy crap. Um, Jesus, that's not fatal. I was trying to jump on something to come down in chunks, but oh well. Talk to Zer. Zer's mind feels empty, silent. I miss Goodris already. You mentioned information for the Mages Guild earlier. During our time together, we determined that the Dwarven device operates on the same principles as Molag Bal's plane mail. Zer will honor the Dark Elves' memory. And give him credit for this discovery. Thank you again for saving us, my friend. This one is strong well, enough to open a portal now. We shall go to this hollow city Zer has heard so much about. The portal shall remain open for only a few minutes, my friend. Zer hopes to see you again in the hollow city. Portal to the Hollow City. Might as well take it because it's already, it's ten o'clock, and that would be a good place to, uh, to um, to save it. It's look starting to look more and more. Look at that. There's actually something that looks like a sun. Okay, so let's see. First of all. Mail. Okay, let's see. Champion points. How many do I have? Five of each. Let's go ahead and distribute them now, and then then we'll call it for the day. All right. So five points. Gotta look for something that I can actually put the points in. We can go in here, which is gilded fingers. Increases your gold gain by 2% per stage. I've already completed stage. What do we have? This, this increases the amount of gold you find in treasure chests. Uh, friends in little places. Oh, that's the uh, gold uh, for, it has to do with your bounty. Breakfall. Um, Steed's Blessing. There's one increases your out of combat movement speed by 0.4%. Uh, percent per stage. I forgot about that. And upkeep. Um, let's see. It's going to... Yeah. It will start getting expensive. Uh, let's see. What is that one? Sustaining Shadows is equipped. Reduces the cost of sneak by 1% per stage. Okay, let's see, is there anything up here yet? No. I'm trying to figure out what I'm wanting to put. Put the five points in. I think I'm going to put it in the uh, Steed's Blessing. So now it's 2% uh, faster. And, oh, I have to add that to the champion bar, so I have to go ahead and confirm it. Um, champion bar. There we go. So it can get up to 50% uh, which would be 10% extra moving speed. I'll take it. All right, let's see. Uh, so I got what five? Yeah, five points here. So let's see where to put it. Let's see. This is. Oh no! I don't do endurance. Eldred sight. Oh, that one's done. What is this? 
Grant stamina, no. What is this? Increases critical damage and critical healing done by 2%. Uh, increases your critical damage done by 3% per stage against enemies you are flanking. Oh yeah, I, I like I like that the cult overlord. Um, granted, I barely got anywhere, but that's okay. And then we'll finish off. Ooh, I already put some in here, so we're gonna go ahead and just add the five to rejuvenation, just like that. All right, and then we'll confirm it. All confirmed. Yep. Okay, and oh, this is good places. Any? Oh, let's that make sure there's nothing. Nope. All right, and we are going to log out. Ugh. Okay, get us back to right here. All right. Well. That's going to do it for today, folks, and I actually managed to get off here at a decent time. <laughs> oh, so, oh, thanks again, Sherry, for popping in. Um, I hope you will uh, come again into my streams. Um, I'm going to try um, to keep doing this schedule, which would be... Friday through Tuesday, 8 a.m., providing I, you know, something doesn't come up. Like tomorrow, I've got a 9 a.m. appointment. Um, so I won't be streaming. Uh, I, I probably won't stream at all uh, tomorrow. So my next stream will probably be Friday morning. That would be my guess. Um, I may stream. I don't know. But I'm. let's just call it as no. Uh, so it'll be Friday morning at 8. Uh, for sure. Uh, but anyways. Uh, thank you folks for, uh, for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Again, thank you Sherry and whoever's watching or was watching in the uh, in Twitch, I greatly appreciate it. Please tell your friends um, and you know, come check me out on Twitch. Uh, please give you know, give me a follow if you haven't already. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like, share, subscribe, and click the little where is it? It'd be over here somewhere. Click the little notification bell. Um, so that way you get notified when I. You know, put up new content. Um, yeah, I'm just, whew, sorry. You know, just, you know, keep coming. Keep coming and watching. Um, doing all this stuff is completely free. Doesn't cost you a penny. Um, just takes a couple of seconds to click this, click that, and you're done. Um, and it does help my channel out. It helps my channel grow because I need the growth to hit the right numbers to be able to do anything to get anywhere. Because as of right now, I'm not making a cent doing this. This is all completely on my time, on my dime, the whole, I mean, it doesn't cost me anything to do it, but I'm just saying I'm not anywhere uh, close to being able to start making anything off of this. The closest I have is making affiliate um on Twitch and that hits at 50 um followers and I'm at 16 so <laughs> but anyways um thanks again everyone uh for joining me um again and um I hope to see you Friday morning at eight o'clock providing nothing comes up <laughs> but anyways that's gonna do it folks Thanks again. I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.